Hey Virgos, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Hey you guys, hope everybody's doing well. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome. If you're new, please to hit like, share, and subscribe. This is a general love reading. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Um, and personal reading links. There's a um, there's a link in the description box below this video if you want to book a personal private reading phone call reading with me i'm running a special um, if you go over to my booking site and book your reading for this friday november 26th um, you will receive a discount it's a black friday sale okay so go over there and i've, I've opened my slots for like the whole day which i don't usually do so it's for a 30 minute phone call. So go on over there, book it, book it quick before it fills up. Um, all right, you guys. So guess what? I'm freestyling tonight. Something came over me and said, just freestyle the cards. No spread, nothing deep, intense, just a total freestyle love message. And just to put it all out there, see what spirit has to tell you, what you need to know going forward in the month of December okay so let's do it let's get started hi everybody in the chat all right let's get started freestyle okay all right we've got drama some conflict happening the month of December Ooh, look the devil okay somebody's fighting off the devil here um, there's some type of energy of like obsession and control anxiety addiction playing out here let me see things feel unmanageable okay for some it could be with um a female a mother it could be your mother or somebody's mother or it ha may have something to do somebody's causing drama it could be from an ex um mother of your child or children for some, some family drama as well, competition. Hmm. Somebody might want to have a child, and another person's like, no, not happening. Don't want this. Or there's or other people. Okay, a lot of anxiety. What the heck? Wow. A lot of anxiety happening here. Hmm. Okay. You know, I feel like some of you are really struggling. You're having a lot of anxiety. You're trying to break something, break away from a situation, person, place, or thing in your life in December. And it's, it feels like it's really difficult or there's drama coming up in regard to that. Let me see here. <clears throat> okay. Page of Cups showed up in the reverse. So this feels like someone who's, communicating with you in December is very is quite insincere right the way they communicate um you know it's supposed to be like they owe you an apology but it's kind of a half-assed half-hearted apology um or they message you and they act like it's something sweet but they're really just trying to get in bed with you um and for others this like toxic energy behind some kind of message somebody's purposely withholding communication with you in december like as a punishment i'm hearing causing drama causing problems stirring things up or somebody's delaying getting back to you either some kind of phone call or a message or something, putting something on hold. Um, somebody might be delaying on purpose because they feel like your relationship is just tremendously toxic or they're having a hard time letting go of you. There's like a very strong addiction. This person, okay, this person is like in a lot of mental conflict about some type of communication or will be there might be like withholding responding this person's like attached to you like like addicted there's like codependency there's this 
like obsessed with you and they're purposefully holding back reaching out to you so it doesn't consume them this person's got the nine of swords here like they're ridiculously stressed ridiculously stressed okay libra energy twice capricorn taurus i feel like this person wants to do the right thing you know be honest and truthful with you they have a lot of conflict they're withholding why are they withholding because the devil energy is behind this oh wow the five of cups okay so this person has like extreme regret remorse sorrow they feel sad they're in maybe a state of depression um dealing with an addiction there's something going on with them a fear of you're going to take them to court as well for some and there's this like deep sadness and sorrow they're not responding and not reaching out because they're like really depressed or feeling really sad a lot of anxiety and depression a lot of conflict that's interesting yeah temperance is in temperance is in the reverse in regards to this conflict so this person is very emotionally unbalanced they're tremendous they're not tempered they're very unbalanced right now conflict could be with others could be in their head something going on why is this person so sad mm, ten of wands It might just be their natural disposition. This person deals with some very toxic stuff within self. And they may have a tendency towards depression or sadness, okay? Heavy burdens, feeling overwhelmed, exhausted. This person, they could be very exhausted with work. They could be working at this time. Things are really not going well at their, their job or their career. They're feeling... Um, I mean, I feel like this person is just really exhausted with something in regard to the relationship, like needing a time out. They're trying to get their, like they're not sleeping at night. That's, that's really what I feel. And yet you're over here trying to be balanced and fair. I feel like you're you you're trying to be fair to this person, Virgo. But you're you're also like really defensive. You're standing back. Wow. This person is like it feels to me like they know they got to come through or they got to come towards you in a particular way. I mean, you're really setting high standards for uh, your life and your relationships going forward and you're just I feel like you kind of have some very like righteous defensive energy I don't know if it's just in general or with someone in particular but I feel like this person feels like it's way too much for them to live up to no that doesn't mean you should lower your standards I mean obviously if your standards are like way too high that you're completely untouchable then you're the only one who suffers with that I mean they don't have to be like I mean, unless you are the queen of England <laughs> and that those are the people that you're dealing with, <laughs> if you're not, you can't expect a peasant to, you know, reach royalty like that. I mean, you're setting your standards too high. Some of you might be so much so that you're closed off to, uh, you know, you put limits on yourself. I think it's okay to have like, you got to have some standards so you don't, you know, but hmm where's that sweet spot and i feel like this person feels like they really can't live up to that the uh, something with you it feels too toxic for them you know you e either you gotta lower it or you gotta keep moving you know it's up to you i don't know exactly it's a general i don't know exactly what your standards are but you do have um you do have the justice card so there may be a sense of self-righteousness a little bit virgo just be careful with that just be careful with that okay maybe there are people that will actually like that 
and appreciate that and maybe there are people who won't and if you feel like your person or this person isn't able to live up to your standards or you refuse to set them then uh, re refuse to change them then this is not for you this person's not for you that's it don't waste your time trying to make anybody change i feel like this person it sounds like i'm coming down on you and i'm really not I feel like this person is viewing that your standard standards are too high. Maybe they're really not all that high for you, Virgo, but this person, maybe there's like, I don't know, they, they swim in the shallow end of the pool. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Bottom of the swamp. I don't know who you were dealing with. You know, you might just have like real, real basic manners or courtesy and this person's like, what? I don't have to be courteous. <laughs> You know that kind of thing but i don't know i feel like mm, for others this person is traveling and they're unable to talk to you at this time okay um hmm i don't know you guys i'm just gonna tell you i do not like this devil card sitting here i feel like it's there's some type of an addiction. There's something going on with this person that they are being pulled away by sin and temptation of some sort or some toxic energy. And that, if you two aren't talking, that's why. Okay? It's not anything to do with you. They might be blaming it on you and telling you that your standards are too high or you expect too much. Um, but the bottom line, Virgo, whoever this person is that you've been connecting with, they got that devil energy in them. And that would make sense because if you've got someone who's like got an addiction and you require that they not have the addiction and to come correctly with you, they're not ready to give up the addiction. So your standard is, is too high and they can't live up to that. That's what it is. <laughs> they get a lot of pushback, not just from you, from others. It could be a mother figure that's telling them this as well. This person's like a wreck. They are a wreck. <sighs> they want to give love to you. They want to propose. They want to make some kind of offer. They just don't feel like they can do it. They don't feel like they they can't do it with this with this devil running the show. They just can't. They're exhausted from that. They, they aren't able to give you what you want. They're not capable. I feel like my alerts keep going off to let you guys know. This person is not capable to do it, even though they want to, because they've got, they're just beaten down. Why is this chariot here? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. This person's on the go trying to make something happen here is there a change oh yes there's some kind of change happening here with them they're making some kind of decision i feel like these are different yeah they're making they're trying to like sort some weighing things out okay let me see here what's going on i feel like this person really stresses about love relationship a love relationship they really want that they want to you know come offer their love to you they got to finish out this this compulsive thing that's got them it's got their claws in them they got to come to the end of that first they're not gonna, they're not capable to give you what you need yet okay but they're making some changes here oh yeah two of wands two of pentacles so big decisions being made Okay, what I was just saying, what is the decision that's being made here is this person lacked consistency in your relationship. They were probably on and off, um, on again, off again. They weren't someone that you felt safe with. They weren't someone that you could count on. Um, they would, I feel like they would maybe take off a lot or they would go within or withdraw. They were just, it's like they would come up for water, come up for air, excuse me. The person would come up for air, and that's where you would be. And they'd get that breath of fresh air from you and with you, and then they'd sink back down, drowning again 
in their whatever this devil energy is. So you had like a lot of in and out with this person. I mean, it looks promising. Okay, we have Cancer here. Sagittarius, did I say that? Capricorn. Um, it looks promising that there's like some big decisions being made here about um, they need to get more consistent. They need to like figure out where where they're going, what they want, um, and how to get there and, and, and make something happen in their life every day. I feel like this person's really at a crossroads. Here's a death card. Okay, Scorpionic energy. So it looks to me like this person's putting an end to some very serious past issues within themselves. The only one who truly suffered or who truly suffers by this person's actions is they themselves. Everybody else gets maybe the brunt of things or feels like the ripple effect when it reaches them, but this person suffers the most. They have the deepest struggle with self. Let me see. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Yeah, see, they're stuck in anxiety. Ten of Swords reversed. It hasn't come to the end of complete rock bottom. You know, I feel like this person does not want this situation to end. They just don't know how to be what you want. Their, be their hand is being forced, it feels like. They have to come to a place where they have to get off the fence. They can't be... Um, it feels like they're coming to terms with they can't be in their addiction and be in a healthy relationship with you the two don't go hand in hand okay and they're not ready to let you go fully like that's what their anxiety is about okay they want to make their love offer to you they're not ready to bottom out with this yet they're stressing about it they don't know how i feel like this person's been trying to figure out a way to have the best of both worlds to have you stay where you are and also to have their little devil fun sneakiness anxiety well not to have that but their temptations and addictions and obsessions and all that okay let me show me this temperance card okay because it feels to me like with the five of wands there's a lot of conflict this person it feels like right now they're being knocked they're losing their stance they're being knocked off their high horse i guess or whatever that they're on and it might be some kind of an intervention they might have friends and family telling them um, like, you can't keep living your life this way. Yep. They're getting knocked right off that horse. Knight of Swords here. There's arguments. Conflict. Definitely. From other people. Friends, like I said, family. Uh, it feels like their whole world, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the tower shows up, but it feels like their whole world is just starting to, like, crash down on them. I do feel like they want to do right by you. Okay, but you left this person out in a cold, Virgo. You just said, that's it, you're out. You're not helping them anymore. This is the struggle love card. You're not giving yourself over to this anymore. You've been. And they know that. They remember. They see this. Look, they were walking around with the crutch. And there you were, walking with them, leading the way, helping them along. They remember this. <clears throat> and that's why they want to give back to you and be fair with you. So they're definitely coming to some changes here in their life, right? They're at a crossroads here. Let's see. Show us the rest of this. Okay, we got the King of Cups here. Cancer Scorpio Piscean energy. So this person is coming to terms with how they really feel deep down and who they are, their emotions. Also the King of Wands. Ooh, this person's been hiding a same-sex affair. Okay. Coming to terms with that. Maybe they need to come out of the closet. 
okay and for others mm, they have a friend that's giving them some guidance that's kind of like helping them lead the way for them you gave up the job Virgo you're like it's not my job anymore you're not doing it anymore you gave it up you want the best for them you hope things work out fairly for them and things go well for them but you're blocking you're just like no more of that you know it's not your job anymore this person has got to level themselves up okay and you're you're all about that you're not teaching you're not showing you're not doing anything you've done enough Virgo yeah a lot of you I just feel like you've removed yourselves from the situation completely this is what's going on with them okay yeah there's there's some type of help happening here okay there's some charity here somebody's helping your person uh come to terms with themselves who they are what's going on with them what they want out of life what they need to do why they keep getting trapped in these bad situations in their life making bad decisions they're they're purposefully withholding communicating with you because of their grief they don't want you to know that they're sad they're they're kind of waiting until that energy or that they're hurting or they're angry not so much anger but they're just overwhelmed with grief they don't want to they don't want you to see them that way with whatever they're going through okay so i was looking at the outcome so we have the magician the three of cups so i feel like there's going to be some type of um, reunion happening here with you and somebody um it'll be light maybe around the holidays i feel like it'll be fun it'll be joyous um Okay, hold on listen to the elevator music <laughs> um i feel like oh my goodness you know okay give me a second because this is really like i have so many messages oh no they're saying this is you virgo are you going to some kind of show Maybe like a Chris Angel music Vegas some type of show or something around the holidays maybe a magic show or a tarot party or you're going to something where there's a performer on the stage okay um, I feel like there's somebody that either will be accompanying you or you might connect with I just feel like um, it's okay so they're giving me two messages here and then all right so you right, you're gonna think i'm really crazy but i'm not saying that i don't know what they're talking about i'm not saying that you know just because they speak to me doesn't mean i have to say it i feel like you 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 get real soft i just i'm feeling you like a, a plush softness you get really soft when something begins maybe at a reunion or some type of connection with someone all right give me more there's gemini energy here there's uh, virgo as well oh my gosh okay okay this is what they're saying okay now i get it okay all right this is clear now if you're you're having some kind of reconnection with somebody okay this is a reunion this is getting together with somebody be careful that you don't drink too much okay i know some of you don't drink i'm not talking to you i'll give you a different message or if i have one walk away pace yourself with with drinking okay walk away like have a few and then walk away i feel like that's a really important message for you you're gonna have a really good time where you're going or who you're reuniting with it could be the meeting up with somebody here that we've been talking about um 
It could be a Gemini, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Cancer. Uh, a Capricorn. Okay, I said Cancer too. It could be a Cancer. But just be very careful that you don't get yourself... Remember I was saying soft? I was saying soft like lush. Don't be a lush if you drink or you have some champagne. At something that you go to, make sure you are very careful. Um, <laughs> I just kind of get a sense like if you have a few too many, oh my God, you're going to be letting your guard down big time. And I just see you here talking about nothing but everything that happened in 2021 and all the past and all of this past year and how like you can't get away from something or somebody and you're really stuck stuck in the past and you know you might be butt dialing somebody I, I just feel like you need to be very careful <laughs> around the holidays that's what I'm getting with that all right that's a strange message okay let's see what what's going on with this person that Virgo's connecting with here okay the fool two of swords reversed queen of swords all right you know what um they're freeing themselves from whatever this shit is whatever they got trapped in they have a they have help they're not doing it on their own they have help somebody's helping them um the decisions being made here and unblocking as well if there was a blocking or if this okay yeah that's what I was feeling the page of cups reversed this person um, very like brooding there's no communication because they've been brooding um, and it feels like with the two of swords reversed you know, either they had you blocked or they just decide to come out of the blocking, not communicating and start reaching out and talking to you. But they're coming in with like this decision is made. The choice is made. No more living in fantasy with this, per you know, them saying to you, because I feel like they were just kind of in this like real dark place. And as much as they loved you or as much as they admire you or find you to be someone that they could get involved with, um, they've come to almost hitting absolute rock bottom. Um, and they've had some type of intervention or a friend has had a conversation or they, they were talking with a friend and some, some wisdom was imparted from somebody to your person some like truth some clarity beginning to come out with the moon secrets coming out oh healing this person keeps a lot of secrets you know secrets can be cancer to the soul when you walk around with secrets because they're usually shame filled people who keep deep secrets you know it's one thing to have your level of privacy everybody can have that but when you're keeping deep secrets um, that means that you are you're feeling shameful not other even other people's secrets yeah you know I mean there's an element of maybe not every single secret but there's an element of shame with this person and that has it may be their family secrets or past relationship secrets or like I said if there was a same-sex relationship and they've been carrying that around and not telling anybody um, that has been destroying the soul you know because holding it in holding it in okay so there's like somebody releases the valve a little bit and lets a little air out it leaves a little bit of pressure here and the healing begins to happen with the three of swords this is kind of like nails in the tire, you know? When nails go into a tire, they don't often pop. Sometimes it just, the nail acts as a plug, okay? But when you pull the nail out, then all the air comes out. And I feel like here, these swords, they're so heavy at the bottom, these handles, that they start slipping out. They fall away. 
and the air starts coming out here the healing starts you know somebody releases exhales all these secrets and these things that they've been hiding or keeping to themselves that didn't want to share with you or share with anybody could even be counseling they're getting Wow, four of wands. Okay, they're really restless. Then they become restless. Oh my God, Virgo. I, I listen, this person's like, yes, family. Yes, committed relationship, marriage, the nine yards. Yes, they become restless for this now <laughs> because they've released. I mean, that's so, I feel like this person always wanted it, but they just could, this toxicity, they were, they were um, self-medicating with addictions and they were hiding some very deep things and things begin to like open up for them and release and that very thing remember I was saying that they definitely wanted with you they didn't want to lose you but they they just didn't they weren't ready to give up the uh, like the other stuff going on with them like this never left them and then this this little horsey here isn't trotting now oh, this horsey is charging it starts charging because the four of swords this is restless behavior this is good anxiety you know that's that you know excitement before getting to the beach in the summer or you know going on vacation that's that feeling right before that that's good and you you get the anxiety the butterflies the excitement that's positive okay Oh, then they're going to come looking for you. Oh my goodness. They're going to come looking for you. Communicating, looking for you, spying, very curious about what's going on. Talking to other people, trying to find out where are you? What are you doing? Should they message you? Should they reach out? That kind of stuff. And the hangman, wow. They have like this whole new view. You know, like they just completely see things differently about your connection. And about everything it's like I feel like this person had on like they walk around with like shades on their on their eyes you know real dark black like you see people at a wake in a funeral or something real like depressive and now they have on these rose color glasses you know where everything's just so colorful and beautiful like a new view <laughs> so restless oh my goodness even the knight of pentacles is in the reverse this is the slowest knight in the upright <laughs> in the reverse it's like -dum 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 -dum, like take it off then be careful this person's coming in like crazy horny very active ready to go 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 it, i feel like you're gonna be looking at this person like who the hell are you <laughs> who the heck Okay, yep, opening up. Four pentacles in the reverse. This person wants to get married. Leave a legacy with you. Like, go for it. Do the whole thing. The family. Have children. Adopt children. Surrogacy. Is that a word? I made it up. Surrogate parents. Um, move forward. Meet the family. Just go into business together. Build a home. Buy some real estate. They don't want you to be single and on your own anymore, okay? This person wants you to depend on them in a lot of ways. Okay. <laughs> the King of Swords with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like they're going to... Um, this feels like a softening up of communication. They're going to be a, a, a lot more careful with the things that they say to you. I don't know... If they've had words with you before, they were too blunt or too sharp. I feel like this person's going to be more choice with their words. Um, there's an, okay, there's the tower. So there's an element here where this feels like a sexual thing where they weren't very romantic, but very demanding. And they might've just like been very cutting in a, in a sexual relationship. I feel like now this is going to be removed and not be so shocking with their communication with you not just in a sexual way or not so demanding but more in a like um, just holding back 
and being more thoughtful with the things that they say to you so that um i don't know why they feel like the way they said things to you might have made you feel um i guess offended maybe or not really cared about yeah see they're going to come in more so rather than shocking you with the things they say or being abrasive um they're going to come in more romantic and soft with the ace of cups okay no more telling you what to do or yeah it just feels like maybe they this person had a drinking problem or, or something that influenced the way they spoke to you and it could have been quite abusive or there could have been words or things that they said that were just offensive to you i feel like yeah five of swords reverse so not doing that anymore softening more in the way they communicate with you there's a possibility too virgo if you're connecting with this person over the holidays they might actually they might be both of you okay that's what they're saying i thought this was kind of strange there might be some drinks or some celebratory energy where a lot of shit comes out communication guards being let down talking about what the heck happened what happened between us okay whether it's the past year past week or whatever whatever however long your connection was with this person um kind of like opening up being very soft in communication explaining why somebody dipped out or ghosted or left or temporarily separated um could have had something to do with travel there might be a communication this person might tell you they were broke or they didn't have any money or they might you know say they were trying to control everything and it wound up they lost everything by doing that okay okay and they were afraid they're afraid to make that move very simple this person was just afraid to face their fears as well but you it might be you too saying this i feel like there's going to be some kind of communication between the two of you where you're going to have this conversation um okay now some of you i want to tell you something this i, di I didn't say anything if this was your past or your present person okay this could be somebody that asks you on december 3rd to go on a date and then they blow you off remember this for the whole month of december and then they blow you off and you don't hear from them again until like december 18th come back listen to this reading because this is for what's coming up in december not necessarily what's happening right now remember it's general so try to step out of yourself for a minute and think of all the other people that i'm also talking to right so if you feel like oh this isn't my message i'm not talking to anybody well it this may not have happened to you yet so keep that in mind okay just keep that in mind all right let's get into the messages of love and see what the messages of love are for you yeah i'm just freestyling tonight sometimes i just need to shake things up a little bit as a Virgo, I'm very good with consistency and doing the same things over, but when it comes to create a creativity, um, you'll find me shaking things up a bit, stirring the pot of paint. Like my dishes are always done every single day, but when it comes to creativity, like I want something new, I get so bored after a while. Okay, let's see. Put away the computer, working less will help strengthen a relationship. Okay, someone is secretly yearning for you, Virgo. Oh, <laughs> some of you have like a like you have like um, a relationship that you have only online, like you talk to each other through a computer or your phone or something. Maybe they're putting away the computer. Their message they're giving me is like when you stop talking to this person or you just pull yourself away from the screen then they're like oh my god where is virgo why isn't virgo responding why like this person like secretly longs yearns 
they look for a message from you every day. They hope for that. Okay, I don't know if it's the same person that I was talking about earlier, but these are just, these could be separate messages. Stability, this relationship can stand the test of time. Okay, that was one of your questions. Or an apology is coming in. Okay, remember I was saying in the beginning, somebody may owe you an apology or you feel like they owe you an apology and they're delaying it. Um, you might feel like they're just being a jerk and they're not going to give it to you. I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like they're just not giving it to you right now. And they, I do feel like they will come in with it, but they're going to delay it a little bit. Okay, passion. Try something you've never done before, Virgo. Oh, they just said pull a card. What is it something that Virgo's never done? What's Virgo's passion? Something Virgo's never done before. Oh, okay. Archery. Um, okay, for some travel, some of you have never traveled. It's time to start doing that. Uh, oh, okay, and they're telling me some of you build a log cabin, build a home out in the woods. It doesn't have to be a log cabin, but get started. Bring, uh, oh, some of you need to learn how to light a fire, like an outside fire, like actually learn how to light a fire, not one of those press the button and the flame just appears like rub two sticks together mfers <laughs> start lighting a fire <laughs> and um they they just said uh hey you can fix the roof yourself i don't know who that's for you don't need to hire somebody just get the ladder be careful of course but just get the ladder you can get up there yourself and fix it that's what I just heard. I just heard that. I don't know if that's somebody's channeling like a past relative or something that was like, you don't need to hire anybody. Just go at, get off your ass and go fix it yourself. <laughs> Comical, like your Uncle Bob or your Uncle Joe or something was like that. Okay. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering, Virgo. So I don't know what exactly it is that you're thinking of doing right now, this time in your life, but if you're considering taking a leap of faith again about something, um, it's time for you to make your move. Like, it's okay. You can do this. It's not going to break the bank. It's going to be okay. All right. Let's see. I just want to, like I said, you guys, it's freestyle tonight. I want to see what your love messages are. All right, let's see. There goes love messages. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on this partnership. Okay, so for some of you, this is a second chance. Like I said, um, Your gods are telling you to give it a chance. Well, my gods are telling me to tell you. You deserve love. You are lovable, Virgo. Okay. Oh, there's honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. See, I told you. There's like some holiday stuff coming up. Okay. If you've got like somebody who has dipped out on you or might possibly dip out on you going forward, they'll be back. They'll be back. Does that mean you just sit by your phone in the hallway and, you know, have a sore ass because you're waiting? No. Go out shopping. Go do your thing. Go be with your family and friends. Go live your life. Go roller skate. I don't know what you're doing. Just get off your ass and enjoy yourself. Don't sit and wait for anybody and let your life pass you by. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. Holiday time. There's going to be like a real truthful opening up. Heart-to-heart, -heart, like I said coming up for you and another person attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully okay that's what i was saying virgo if you're waiting for somebody are you just based on what i'm saying here 
or you just have somebody remember i said the other day you don't have to put people on the back burner you don't have to block you don't have to ignore anyone just focus on yourself and they'll automatically by default go back there okay you don't have to put somebody anywhere just put yourself somewhere and that's called first right and then everybody else just falls behind when you put yourself first that's how you remove or block or just put people on the side is by putting yourself first and yeah like i see a lot of you are just walking over to every single person that's pissing you off and you're just picking them up you're carrying them over you're sticking them in the closet stay the fuck over there until i say it's time for you to come out no 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 if they just want to hang about on the couch or they just uh, sit on the other end of the phone and they're just doing what they're let them do what they're doing just get busy with you see people who are busy with themselves don't have time to be worrying about what everybody else is doing people who are living their lives and happy and enjoying their lives you like you can't possibly be in a state of grief and be happy at the same time so make your decision where do you want to be you know, I'm going to post this thing, I swear. If, uh, so here's a little trick for you, right? If you're feeling depressed, or you're feeling sad, and you just don't know how to make yourself happy, go to the store tomorrow and buy, or go, in the, go into your kids' or your grandkids' toys or something and get out a bottle of bubbles, right? And blow some damn bubbles. You can't possibly be angry and blow bubbles at the same time. How can you be pissed off and be blowing bubbles at the same time? Go blow some damn bubbles. Just sit outside. Put them in your purse when you're on lunch break. I don't care what you do. Just blow some freaking bubbles. It's a little cathartic exercise. I guarantee it'll just make you feel better. Just blowing bubbles and watching them fly in the wind. All right, one more. Okay, let go of control issues. Allow situations to unfold naturally. So here's how you do that. With every bubble that you blow, Virgo, let go with every, bu with every bubble you blow and allow things to just, allow the bubbles to just fall naturally to the ground. Just that's the practice in letting go. Once you blow them out, you release them and then they go on their merry way. Okay. I'm calling in your soulmate. Your your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Trust in that, Virgo. That works. If that's what you want, it works. All right, let's see. Um, okay, they're just telling me there's some of you who need to have some messages of closure, and I'm going to give them to you. I don't have, I've never used these cards before. So if you haven't received closure from anyone, anybody, I'm going to give them to you or if you would like them. I don't know who it'll be for, but we'll see. Okay. So you are beautiful. I wish you love and happiness. I realize how much I hurt you. I am sorry I criticized you. Do you want me around? Hmm. I was wrong and I'm sorry. I watch you with your family. I should have said what I didn't say. Okay. So I don't know specifically who those messages are for, but I'm going to leave them for you, for you whoever needs to hear them. I'm not going to wax poetic with these cards. These are just messages of, clo of closure. I almost said clover. All right, let's get into dates, numbers, and letters. Let's see who is coming through for Virgo. Okay. 
Okay, so Mimi's birthday is on the 7th. Um, letter A. I'm getting the letter A. F. F is in Francine, Frank, football. There's a K. August 20th. Mm, and July 10th. Okay. August 10th, 20th and July 10th. Okay. Hmm. And July 11th. Somebody lives on Park. I just heard Park. Or there are, well, may not live on. I just heard Park. P as in Paul, A R K. Park. Maybe you're parking your car right now. Park. Okay. Oh, somebody was born in 1981. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, they just gave me two things, um, pages, like white sheets of paper, pages, I see pages shuffling, paper shuffling, okay, and the name Pip, P-I-P, -P, Pip, Okay. Are the pages ripping? Are they ripping or is someone's crumbling them up or ripping them? Oh, wow. I'm getting a lot of July and August energy here. Um, could be connecting. Somebody's connecting with a Gemini, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. And somebody has two children. Okay. Somebody lives in... Okay. Now they're just saying. 718. Is it area code? 718 or 818 or 7 or 817. Or if you mix up those numbers, it's... The numbers in it are... A seven, an eight, and a one, and maybe another eight, like an area code. <clears throat> okay. Um, September, they just said September 19th, nine. 19, 919. That's weird. We had 818 and 919. And there's also 717. Okay. Okay. Um, so somebody, I just, I'm hearing like uh, somebody's last name is K-N-I-G-H-T, but it's like a Mick, Mick Knight, or just Knight, um, K-N-I-G-H-T, okay, there's a connection here, um, with an older male, 40s, 50s, earth sign, person is showing up um this person has like uh they play poker or 
gambling, like card table games or something, a lot. Um, they know it's not the best thing they should be doing. They shouldn't be doing this. Um, and they're trying to get away from that. But they're kind of like winning. So it's really hard. They keep winning. <laughs> it's like a shutout. This person might be like, you know, they on TV, they do those poker tournaments. This person might be like, they're very good. They might be a gambler or they're very good at what they do. It's like for sport. All right, one more. Okay, we have October 12th, significant day, or may have been October 13th, the 12th and the 13th. Okay, let's get your charms, you guys. See what the messages are. Don't forget, if you want to get the personal reading discount, go over to the link below the video in the description box. Click on that link. We'll take you to my booking site and book for Friday, this Friday, November 26th, and you can get a 30 minute reading discounted. Oh, geez. Okay, here's that horse again, the Italian stallion. We have a, a, a horse, it's moving in real quick. So the energy, it feels like somebody's coming in to visit you. Maybe you ride horses or you have a horse. Um, somebody's coming in to visit you and they're coming in very quickly, coming at you quick. Oh, we have a jackrabbit here. Like he's like got his dukes up, he's fighting. He's like, ch -ch -ch -ch. okay. So I don't know what that's all about. Maybe there's something about Jack Rabbit. Maybe somebody's name is Jack or there's like somebody's a fighter. I don't know. Do they like joust on a horse or something? I don't know. Maybe they're in some kind of Renaissance festival or something. Um, we also have a butterfly, but we also have a bow tie. So somebody used to make bow ties in the shape of butterflies for a little girl's hair, maybe. Um, or is doing that again, or making butterflies out of fabric for like, um, for the hair or something. It feels like um, it's pink. Like one is a um, prototype and then the actual work starts getting made. It feels like pinkish purple pearl bow bow bows or bows or, yeah, it just feels like a little girl's hair or somebody's hair. Okay. Wow, you have fearless. Beautiful. Be fearless. Somebody's acting or becoming very fearless at this time. That has a lot to do with this horse that's moving in quick and this jackrabbit. Somebody's standing up and fighting. Okay, so we also have um, pendant with... Um, now, this is not a tree. At first I thought it was a tree, but it's not. It's a vine. I don't know. Is anybody growing <laughs> something on a vine? I can't. Well, I guess somewhere in the world somebody might be. I don't know if it's like tomatoes. Oh, it's. No, it's not. Somebody's growing some. Your pot plant? I don't know. <laughs> growing some kind of weeds or f plants or something. Um, it's like making money at this growing it, selling it. I don't know what y'all are doing. I'm not trying to get deep down into that. And then we also have um, a four leaf clover here. So this is, you know, you could be Irish or you're just, this is a very lucky time. I feel, oh, okay. It's a lucky time in love because interestingly enough, and I've never seen this, this four leaf clover, each one of these leaves looks like a heart. That's really beautiful. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that there. I know it didn't go too, too deep into the charms because I've been really putting some energy into the dates and stuff. 
which I think is a lot of fun. Let me know which you guys, if you like one better than the other, if you like them both, we can give the charms a break if you want or, you know, whichever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that was helpful and you enjoyed the freestyle. <laughs> I, uh, you know, you gotta shake it up once in a while. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe on the video and do hit the notification bell so that you will be alerted of when I upload. Um, and then you'll also know by default when I don't, when I take a, a night off or what have you. All right, you guys. So um, we have Thanksgiving coming up this week. Um, Thursday, I may not be doing a Thursday night um, video. So... Um, we'll have to see if I'm able to get it done ahead. I don't like to do it too far ahead of time because then it just doesn't feel authentic. So if I'm available to do it Thursday night, yeah, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to be busy anyway. So that might just be a day off for all of us. And we take a little break from love. <laughs> all right, you guys. So love you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Take care.